you might hear horse people talk about natural aids. What are natural aids? Natural aids are cues or signals the rider will use to communicate to their horse what they want their horse to do. There are four natural aids we use when we work with our horse. Weight, hands, legs, and voice. We will be doing a series on our natural aids. In this video, we will be talking about the first natural aid, our weight. The most important natural aid when riding our horse is the effective use of our weight. When we ride, we sometimes feel so small compared to the large horse we are riding. However, the horse is very much aware of us on his back and can feel the slightest shift in weight. Don't forget that horses can feel the tiniest fly on their skin. I like to have my students visualize if they have a big bug in their back pocket. They need to roll their pelvis back in order to squish the bug without anyone seeing them move their upper back. Not only is this an effective way to eliminate pesky bugs in our pocket, it is the proper way to slow a horse down. So many times I see students yanking on their horse's mouths and yelling for them to whoa while they're leaning forward. The hand and voice aids are telling him to slow down while the weight of the rider is telling the horse to speed up. This situation usually leads to a confused and frustrated horse. As we continue to ride, we must focus on coordinating our aids. This term means all our natural aids, our hands, legs, voice, and weight are telling the horse the same thing at the same time. When we have achieved this coordination, we will find that that ornery horse we've been riding suddenly turns into a quiet, obedient partner. It is simple to find your balance point. While seated on the horse, begin to shift your pelvis back or roll onto your pockets until you can easily lift your legs. It will improve your balance and security in the saddle. Now let's talk about how shifting our weight affects the horse. Make sure you are on your balance point. Then sit on both hands, palms down. Turn to look to your right. Now turn to look to your left. Do you feel the pressure of your body weight shift from your right hand to your left? The horse can feel that through the saddle. This is why it's important to turn and look in the direction you want your horse to turn. The horse feels the pressure and bends his spine to move his back away from the pressure. Then add the leg and rein aid to reinforce the turn. If you're having difficulty getting your horse to turn, it may be because you aren't shifting your weight properly, therefore giving the horse confusing cues. Learning how to communicate with your horse as we ride is very important. I recently attended a horse show where all the horses were carefully listening to the riders and were obedient, except for one mare. She bucked up a few times as she traveled around the arena and even caused the rider to fall when she refused to go over a jump. The result was a disqualification and a very disappointed, but fortunately not hurt, rider. If the horse would have been obedient, the result may have been a blue ribbon instead of a disqualification. 
too many times our disobedience towards God, our parents and teachers, lead to misery in our lives. The rules our parents and teachers make for us isn't because they don't care for us and want to take away all the fun. They love and care for us. The rules they ask us to obey is for the safety and well-being for us and others. It's the same with God. The Bible isn't a book to take away our fun. It is to instruct us on how to lead our life in a way that we can be safe and happy as well as loving those around us. God wants us to strive to obey Him and love Him. He is our Heavenly Father and wishes the best life for us. And this is love that we walk in obedience to His commands. As you have heard from the beginning, His command is that you walk in love. 2 John 1.16